Good morning. It is Monday morning and today we are going to Costa Maya in Mexico, uh, but we don't uh, get into port until noon. So we've just had breakfast in the dining room and now I've just come back to the room to relax for a little bit and pack my backpack because today we're doing a Segway excursion, just my dad and I. So should be fun. <laughs> He really wanted to do it, so one of us had to do it with him, and uh, that is me. Erica, on Thursday, gets to do a jungle safari with him, so I think I may have gotten the better end of the deal. It's super rocky today. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm like literally like swaying back and forth. I think uh, either we have to make up some lost time or something because he's really booking it. We're going about 38 kilometers an hour and normally on a sea day it would be like a comfortable 20 kilometers an hour. So the faster you go, usually the more rocky the ship is. And uh, Erica, what are, you, uh, what are you doing today? Hi. Uh, I think we're just gonna go to ports. We're gonna see, um, well, I don't know, we've never been to this port before, so we're going to see if there's like shops and stuff. It really depends on how far the pier is. Pier yeah. is. Uh, I think mom wants to get off the boat. It's pretty rocky today. I think Nicole just explained that. Yeah. Just explained that. It's pretty rocky today, so getting off the boat will help. Although she wants to take her sea bands off, which is not a good idea. Because <laughs> when you're on a rocky boat and then you go to a port, guess what happens? It rocks. <laughs> so you're standing there and all of a sudden you're like, whoa. So for any of you who are watching this and people tell you that boats or sh I guess it's a ship, right? Mm -hmm. The ships don't move or you can't tell that you're on a ship. You can. <laughs> <laughs> you can. It's just a matter of how you deal with it. We wear sea bands. Sea bands. I mean, they're not the most beautiful things in the world. I don't know if they actually work or not, but this is our sixth cruise, Nicole. Yeah. Yeah, this is our sixth cruise, and we've never been sick, knock on wood. Uh, there's been some questionable evenings, but like nothing crazy, so we wear it. I wear it all the time. Nicole's a little more liberal with her. She takes hers off every once in a while. I sleep with them on. I go in the hot tub with them on. The only time I take them off is in the shower, so... It, it tends to work. We do use some uh, gravel too, some ginger gravel, um, but that's just really procrastinary. So that's what's happening today. Did you show them the animal of the day? Well, I took a picture of it, but I should oh. actually. Today, I believe it's a frog. It's, it's, it's kind of hard to tell, but I think it's a frog. <laughs> Good morning. We are on the way to morning. Roatan. Hello. Uh, today we have a sales. I don't, I don't, hang on. Daddy forgot something. What did he forget? His phone. Oh. For pictures. No, thank you. Ladies, come on. Best friend. Thank you for this. Thank you for a tough fight. Thank you. See that chairlift takes you to the beach if you want to go. Yeah, we saw that. What? Oh yeah. It's not hot at all out here, eh? Jeez, Louise.
Welcome to Roatan. It's so hot. Yeah. Now the reason I start looking here in the grass is because the grass is a plant which makes oxygen, so it's the perfect environment for baby things, like fish, crustaceans, worms, mollusk-like conch shells you can see, and then creatures so small you can't see them. So it's a nursery for baby creatures. There's also really small adults in here as well. Since there's so many small things here, other creatures are hunting here, like the turtles, the stingrays, barracuda, trunkfish, pufferfish, and there's only two things you have to remember. Don't step on them, don't pee on them. And the reason I say that is because nitrates from urine make algae grow faster. Just like phosphates were doing 30 years ago. That's why they banned them in the world. That place will get anywhere from 1,000 to 50,000 people on a daily basis. We're at the rum factory in Roatan. Uh, it's called the Roatan Rum Company. And it's very hot. We're just about done with being on this excursion. Guy's got a monkey that you probably have to pay $100 to get in there with. 
and then it will bite you and pee on you. I'd like to get back on the bus. Would you like to get back on the bus? Oh, yeah. Dad's like, oh, there's a guy over there with the monkey. I said, yeah, that's great. Uh, it will bite you and then pee on you. Hello, Mr. Monkey, we're not coming to visit. We're not gonna cross to this shopping. It is hotter than the hubs of hell out here right now. Like, dying hot. Need to get back on the bus. Oh, hello. Hello. Welcome to the first floor. <laughs> Fancy meeting you here. You guys napping? Yep. We just got back from Roatan. It's three o'clock. We had some lunch. Now we're going to have a nap. Yay. <laughs> we're very hot and sweaty. And tonight we have a towel turtle. turtle. Looks a little bit like a wee wee sticking out the front, but uh, it's a towel turtle. They like their body part animals. 